Mal hier den Kreisler. Here we are, we're um, packed up on the road. We're going to some of the gold mines out behind Hydor. So there's quite a few out here. There's um, Golden Cross, there's Tia Marama, um, Maratoto, and Kormata Reefs. So we're going to one of those to have a, have a look through. And just as we come into the main entrance. Here's the first warning sign. Caution, mine tunnels and shafts are present and may be hidden by vegetation. Keep to the official tracks, don't enter the tunnels unless they are marked for public access and supervise children. Actually, who's going to supervise me? Today's my unbirthday. There's no 29th of February this year. So it makes me about, I don't know, was it 14 I think. So we'll carry on down the track here and go have a look at these mines. And here we are, up in the tailings and already I just walked in, looked down and there's a very small piece of light amethyst crystal in there. That's pretty cool, that's promising for a start. So we'll go down here have a look. So we'll have a bit of a catch up. <coughs> and some nice quartz crystals on that piece. Some really fine ones. Let me focus. Some really fine crystals on that one. more there. Also found this. It looks like a hinge pin. That's an interesting find up here. And more fine crystals here. So these small ones I'll probably end up giving away. One of my competitions that I run in a shop. So I'll continue digging in this hole and see what else we can find. So we're just after 12 o'clock lunchtime. So I've been here a couple of hours. So not a lot. Got a little bit of my bag in here. Some interesting bits for the garden there. I've actually run out of water in my spray bottle. So we'll just continue to have a bit of a dig. Go find the missus and we'll get some lunch. No, I just said lunch. Yeah, that's the kind of all decided they want to head home, so I'm gonna stay. Just do a bit of exploring. Put it over here. Some old mining machinery. Looks like a bit of a concrete mixer. Yeah. more old machinery, looks like another wash tumbler. You can see where the waters run a 
There's a gully down from the top. I guess it used to be up there. And it's fallen down. Right, we'll go over look, see what else we can find. Go for a bit of a walk up the stream. This looks like, I don't know, this looks like a wheel went through there. Maybe some sort of sluice. Put some pieces of this all up the stream here. Give it. Uh -oh, I'll carry on. Here's the length of railway line. Must have been used for the tramway. So, from what I've read, the tramway here was originally horse drawn where they carry it. The horse is carted the ore down to the steamer to get crushed. Then after a while they brought in a steam engine to do the job. Apparently the steam engine blew up. I guess someone didn't know how to run it. And then they went back to horses. So it's interesting to see a piece of railway iron here in the middle of nowhere in the stream. Must be getting closer to the mines. So here is the first of the mine shafts. So water coming out. So what we've got down here is a inner tube setup. Have a look. Don't know how deep that is. And my torch ain't that bright. So I was just told that um, that tumbler back there, oh look here's a, some wagon wheels, that tumbler back there, a guy was using a front end loader driving into here to dig out calcite that he was tumbling in that big tumbler a few years ago. So that was pretty interesting bit of snippet from one of the locals I saw wandering past. So let's go find the next mine chart. Okay, so we've left the stream and we're going up this dry creek bed. So that mine chart where they were mining the cow side out of because apparently they took all the ore down to there and they shipped it out from that entrance so the other mine shafts are about a kilometre 
up here. But hopefully. So father will make it. Gonna be pretty slow going amongst all these rocks. But we'll let you know when we get there if we don't find anything interesting to look at on the way. Okay, so so this way is blocked. Hey, I'm only halfway up there. Sort of. Maybe I should have taken this steep track. Oh well. I'll just see how deep it is. I don't think I'll be able to climb up there though. Here is a bit of a rock slide. Oops. It is. It looks like the tailing is done. Let's go have a bit of a but look see, Let's see what we can see here. Okay, you probably saw my, my oops. So I've had a bit of a clean up. These ones up the top here. Got a slight coloration of purple. So those here, that's a good size amethyst one. This one here. little druzy it's just ever slightly smooth through there I'll zoom in and see if we can get on some of that camera Very nice crystals on that lot. This one here, it's got a bend. These only just been scrubbed off the toothbrush, I've still got to go through the acid to clean them up. Once again, New Zealand Amethyst is quite delicate. It's all my Amethyst 
champion. And this one here, just a very, very, very pale. So these ones down here are some of my more impressive pieces. This one's pretty cool. Hey, look at these ones. Zoom in on that, let's see. The hands are probably shaking too much. On here, got a forest of spikes. Zoom in, eh? This little one here is quite cool. So yes, it will get rid of those iron staining, hopefully, on it. Definitely keeping away from the bucket of water. Over here. Again, it's going to soak them in overnight. And there it's just it's a nice little crystals, delicate little wee crystals in there. Yeah, there's some others down here. These here are just building crystals. Not as spectacular as the ones I've just shown you, but they are pretty cool. Got this one here. Okay, so it's going to be a while to get them all done with the acid and stuff, so if you like what you've seen, subscribe to my channel. I try and put something up fairly often, about at least once a month, sometimes a bit more. So, Remember also, hit that bell button, eh? You hit the bell button and that means when I put the video up it'll come up on your feed saying that New Zealand rocks down under has got another episode up. So up the gold mine, getting these amethysts. the old fellas so it's not like the, the old days where you'd get hit double hand size rocks of amethyst but all these places have been picked over so 
So that's us for another episode. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.